I encourage you to visit the DASA Workmanship Standards website. Add labels on the PC board's component layer for accurate parts placement. Here is a cross section of what I've been calling a good volcano on both sides. The solder fully covers the lead and the pad with a smooth concave surface. Here the solder covers the lead and the pad but does not extend to the component case. Auto router algorithms create vias. If not controlled, vias can make a board unreliable. If you must include a via, a soldered interfacial wire makes the most reliable connection. Mount axial component centered, close to the board surface, with rounded, bent leads. When mounting radial components, leave enough lead between the pad and component body for a good volcano. Dual inline package or dip component should be fully seated in the proper orientation. Single inline package or SIP components require enough lead between the pad and component body for a good volcano. A discrete wire requires a similar clearance between the pad and insulation for a good volcano. Mechanically attach wires and components before attempting to solder them together. Orient surface mount chips so the chip markings are legible. Ensure that the solder forms a smooth, concave fillet, fully wetting the lead and pad. The solder fillet should be no higher than the chip. For an L-lead surface mount device, look for proper alignment, a smooth fillet, and full coverage of lead and pad. For a J-lead surface mount device, the fillet is mostly under the component lead, smooth, concave, and full coverage. A leadless chip carrier requires proper alignment, a smooth concave solder fillet, and full coverage of lead and pad. A ball grid array requires very precise alignment and smooth full coverage. A BGA solder joint can only be inspected by x-ray scanning. These devices are not a good choice for prototyping.